Today something quite bad happened in, a, in an extremely good way. We lost the drive shaft on the E36. So how can that be a good thing? Well, uh, first of all, it happened while going to work and it happened on the final, final stretch just before turning into the parking lot. So it was at low speed, not on the highway. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we heard a few bangs and uh, I stopped the car. We didn't have any any drive uh, of the vehicle. Uh, went to the rear of the car, had a look, and saw that the uh, uh, drive axle was loose. Not really nice. So how was that good? Well, it was extremely good because first of all, it was not on the highway. It was on a, a slow speed road, and uh, most of the people going there had errands to and from work so uh, there is a bit of traffic but not extreme and the visibility for the, the traffic is quite okay so we didn't endanger anyone else nor us um, and it was in the morning so uh, it was daylight um, and yeah it, it it was a few degrees uh, Celsius, uh, snowing, and it was melting, so it was pouring water all over the wo uh, road. But uh, I was able to call a colleague, a friend, and he brought over a portable uh, power plant uh, driven by gasoline, uh, an angle grinder with a cutting disc, and a floor jack. And in my trunk I had a pipe wrench, so we used a pipe wrench in a combination with a, a ratchet strap to secure it to the front wheel because we needed to use the floor jack to jack up the differential so both rear tires so no stopping uh, power from neither the engine and gearbox nor the handbrake so the pipe wrench would stop the front wheel from turning because this was on a slope so we could jack up the car and I could get in and uh, cut off one of the screws because it was bent so I couldn't get it out so after that I could eventually thread in uh, some of the remaining screws and tighten them as good as I could uh, while being completely wet I was uh, I had water coming in uh, through my neck my uh, cap was all wet um, I even had water going inside my clothes into the shoes and uh, yeah I was uh, even shivering when I were tightening the last screws but we got it on and I was able to then follow my colleague to his workplace where I could go in over a uh, how do you say a smurry group oil pit um, so a pit in the in the in the floor and then I could go underneath undo the screws again put a thread locker on it and tighten it properly this time and that took a few hours so I was quite beat but yeah it could have gone so much worse uh, and I'm really grateful for the help that I got um, quite amazing actually um yeah so always use thread locker on the screws holding the drive shafts and the reason for why it happened was because of me i can't blame anyone else uh, the previous owner had installed the incorrect screws for the drive shafts he told me that so i knew about it i bought the kit from germany i installed it while it was minus 18 degrees outside so and i was lying on the ground so i wasn't really happy about uh, staying there and apparently I didn't do a good enough of a job. I don't think I used a thread locker. I should have done that then this wouldn't have been a problem but I've learned my lesson. This is the first and last time I'm losing a drive shaft in this way. The only acceptable way would be too much power. Unfortunately I don't really have any videos of, uh, from this because I was busy being cold, wet, shivering etc. Uh, but this would work itself into one of the E36 videos eventually uh, sometime later on. 
uh, on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that.